Hello everyone and welcome to session two of financial statement analysis series. My name is Shailesh and I will be walking you through a continued discussion from our previous session, which is understanding the presentation and calculation of revenue figures. Now for viewers who are watching this video, please make sure you take a look at the previous reading, which is session one first, and then refer to this reading as it is a continued session from the previous one. Now in the previous reading, we understood how to take a look at revenue figures, where to source those figures, how to understand those figures. Now, the dilemma with which we ended the previous session was that should you take companies reported revenues as is for your analysis, or is there a need for you to make a couple of changes? Now, what we have done is we have precisely discussed the same thing in this reading. So stay tuned for the same. Now, we have taken a couple of case studies here to help you understand why there may be need in certain scenarios for an analyst to make changes to the reported revenues for analysis perspective. Now, let me start with one very basic case study, which is of excise duty. Now, you know, after the advent of GST, a lot of businesses started reporting their figures net of GST, which, by the way, used to happen gross of VAT in the previous years. Now, there are still certain businesses which report their figures net of GST, but however, they still have to pay excise duty given the nature of the business, like breweries or, for example, ITC. In certain sectors, there are still excise duty state level which are applicable for these businesses. From an analysis perspective, it is highly recommended that for such businesses, you take revenue figures net of GST. Now, for an analyst who is directly sourcing these figures from, let's say, data vendors, they may run a risk of getting incorrect numbers. Let me explain using a very simple example of Radiko Kheta. Now, this business engages into manufacturing of alcohol. Uh, let me quickly open the annual report of Radiko Kheta. What you have in front of your screen is annual report 2020. Just take a look at the annual report income statement. What you see here is revenue from operations, other income, and total revenues. Now, this is a presentation which shouldn't be new to you anymore after taking a look at our series one video, understanding the presentation of revenues. Now, let me open the annual report of Radiko Khetan of 2016. What you see here is the 2016 annual report income statement. When you take a look at this, you will see there is a slight change here. The revenue from operations, there is another new line item, which is subtracting excise duty. Now, excise duty is subtracted here. Then there is other income reporting a total revenue here. Now, what's the difference between 2016 annual report and let's say the 2020 annual report? In 2020 annual report, why is the excise duty item missing? Because under new presentation, the excise duty items are reported under the expenses sections. Now, one may argue these would be very small figures, but no. In case of Radiko Khetan, the excise duty figures are a crazy amount owing to the nature of the business, which is why... If you were to take a look at these figures, look at it. In terms of the figures, you will see excise duty to be a huge percentage of revenues. Now, at the same time, when you take a look at the older years or the previous years figures, the revenue items which one analyst may be reporting would be net of excise duty. Because remember, we always take revenue from operations. We ignore the non-operating revenue because the growth of operating revenues define the future prospects of that business, how it's going to grow. This is something which we discussed in previous video, which is why for previous years, an analyst would be taking revenue from operations, which, by the way, was net of excise duty. But in the current year, if you were to report as is, you might be taking this figure, which is gross of excise duty. Now, these two figures, you will see a crazy spike in figures, giving you an illusion that the business has grown a lot. Now, this is a completely wrong perspective because directly taking data without actually understanding it 
hopefully now you understand why we are grilling on that concept so much for each and every one of you to understand before taking any data point it is imperative that you understand what that data point represents so the previous year figures of radico khetan were net of excise duty and the current year figures are gross of excise duty which is why from analysis perspective the revenue from operation figures should always be taken net of excise duty so what should you do in this case you should take excise duty figures from the expenses section you should subtract these figures from the revenue from operations and then calculate something which is known as net operating revenue now this figure would be comparable to the 2016 net operating revenue figure which was reported already post deduction of excise duty if you haven't deducted excise duty it is recommended you should deduct excise duties as well which is why let me just quickly summarize what we have discussed here you will find it in this image which is in front of your eyes now the 2016 annual report screenshot is this and if you take a look at annual report 2020 screenshot you will find it here so these figures of 2020 were gross of excise duty so we had to make it net of excise duty by taking excise duty figures subtracting them from revenue from operations and then reporting them as net operating revenue making it comparable to 2016 reported net operating revenue figures this is something which an analyst should keep in mind hopefully this case study should communicate what we are trying to explain through this scenario now let's move to another case study for everyone's perspective now another reason why one should not take directly the reported revenue figures as is is sometimes the companies may tend to have different perspectives of classifying line items as operating and non operating as compared to a perspective of an analyst who is trying to analyze that company which is why it is imperative that you open the footnote of operating items as well as non operating items to see for yourself whether which operating item should be part of your reported net operating revenue rather than taking it blindly from what the company has reported another such case study which i have shortlisted to explain is sera sanitary wear now let me open sera sanitary wear annual report now what you have in front of you is 2017 annual report if you take a look at 2017 annual report you will see that let me actually walk you through the income statement which is present on page number 73 so that you guys understand the perspective here. now in 2017 you will see that there is a excise duty which is being subtracted now you may ask me this question that sir sera sanitary wear may do not have that you know uh, it does it doesn't really operate in the domain of alcohol cigarettes why is it please take a look at the year this is pre gst era when vat was applicable so for these companies they used to report revenue gross of vat and vat as a expense was included in the excise duty line item so what you see here is vat and not exactly excise duty anyways the numbers are always calculated and analyzed on a net basis perspective so let me actually refer to the point which i was trying to make here is rather than blindly taking if company says its revenue from sale of goods you need to open note 20 and verify for yourself what line items are present in that moreover if the company says other income you genuinely need to take a look at whether that other income is operating in nature or non operating in nature so let's open note number 20 as well as note number 21 and see for ourselves which line item are operating in nature remember why are we doing this because remember whenever we try to analyze a company we should always take net operating revenue figures and see its growth rate over the years to judge how the business is growing so which is why it's imperative that we take only operating items and not non operating items in that analysis let me open page number 79 which is where the footnote 20 of revenue from operations is present as you can see from this footnote it's sale of goods and then once again sale of products so it's 
it's completely operational in nature there's literally nothing non operational nature in here however if we open the other income an analyst may have a predetermined mindset that other income is always going to be non operational in nature precisely something which i am trying to shatter here that preconceived notion that it is not always the case why let's take a look interest income non operating in nature dividend income non operating in nature diminution of investment return back non operating in nature because it's investments and has nothing to do with the core business net gain of sale of investments once again non operating in nature profit on sale of fixed assets well uh, profits and these things can be considered non operational in nature export incentive claims received and sales tax incentives now these figures are operational in nature we discussed why in our previous videos so for people who haven't taken a look at that recommend you to take a look at that the reason why these are considered operating in nature is mentioned in that video pardon my handwriting anyways what you see here are these three line items should also be part of your operating revenue so for sara if an analyst is trying to compute the operating revenues or a net operating revenue this is what he or she should do take a look at this we have done a sample analysis for you guys now in this screenshot you may notice that we have taken 2016 figures from 2017 annual report it is always recommend recommended that you take previous years figures from current years annual report so if there are any restatement or corrections you spot them as well as you take the latest figures available so which is where 2016 annual report figure uh, 2016 figures should be sourced from 2017's annual report now what do you see here is what ideal an analyst should be doing is they should be taking net revenue from operations which is given this i think we discussed this in the previous point moreover you should take the other operating items from the other income so these are operational in nature so you should take these two items as well you should add them back together and then have the overall net operating revenue so what you see here is you have taken 960 as a gross operating revenue subtracting excise duty of 43.3 from here and then taking the operational items here when you do that which is why you see other operating revenue figure of 1.7 which is total of these two for 2016 clear so which is where you should understand this now sum of ex export incentive claims received sales and tax incentives and interest subsidies are considered other operating income even though they are operational in nature the company chose to report it under the header other income now they never explicitly mentioned that that was non operational in nature which is where i told you that one should not have any preconceived notions they should take a look at the footnotes now you may argue that the business is of 960 crores and you are talking about a line item which is 1 crore i agree please understand the materiality is obviously you know very little in this case but the intent of us explaining this through this case study is there could be cases where you know line items may be reported under different subheadings which should be clubbed from analysis perspectives not always will these items be this minuscule or of less importance or less materiality you shouldn't take a risk of it the third point which we recommend i think there uh, will make this bullet correction here it's actually third third point which we recommend is the vat and gst adjustments now as i explained before 2018 so 2018 people used to report figures gross of vat so revenues were reported gross of vat and eventually there was excise duty subtracted which by the way represented the vat figures however after 2018 the figures are net of gst so there is literally no you know for most of the businesses you will not even see a excise duty line item anymore because you know uh, the figures are reported net of gst uh, but there could be certain cases where excise duty is still applicable businesses like radico khetan itc we discussed this through the first case study so keep that in mind however now coming to this point under the new accounting standards because the figures are reported net of gst to make it comparable to the previous years we highly recommend that every analyst for historical figures should subtract excise duty line items from the gross reported revenue figures otherwise things will not be comparable 
extremely non comparable to give you a very simple sense of business imagine karo ki let's say in 2016 a business did 100 rupees revenue generation and there was let's say a uh, 15 rupees vat applicable so the revenue from operations denoted a figure of 100 and excise duty which was present in let's say expenses ledger just like we saw in the previous cases reported 15 now in 20 let's say 19 still does you know 100 business there's like you no know, flat growth however there's a 18% gst applicable now oh, for a business which is done for 100 rupees and 18% gst applicable it will report a revenue of 82 rupees now for an analyst he or she may see it to be a far bad turnout of events if they were to simply compare 2016 and 2019 revenue figures however in this case you should ideally compare the net of revenue figures which is 85 to 82 now i understand there's still a degrowth here but at least it gives a realistic picture as compared to taking blindly numbers and without adjusting those figures it gives you a terrible picture of the business which wasn't really that terrible in the first place precisely something what we are trying to communicate through this case study please make sure all the numbers which you compare are net of gst obviously reported in the new accounting standards however for the old figures you need to make it net of vat now vat numbers would be present in the excise duty and you can subtract that from there to calculate net operating revenues there are two other reasons as well why one shouldn't really take a you know the revenue figures as reported which because there sometimes there could be change in revenue recognition policies there could be change in accounting standards now what are those is something we will discuss in session 3 so stay tuned hopefully you will guys like this video in case if you have any questions please do write these queries in the comment section moreover you can always take a look at our content additional content from instagram on the valuation entrepreneurship business analysis series On, as well as on youtube please do like subscribe in case if you have any questions or queries and if you feel that in any manner we can improve further please do let us know thank you so much for watching have a great day